In this video, I'll show you how to build this Notion dashboard here from scratch without feeling overwhelmed. This Notion dashboard features your calendar, it features your tasks, and those tasks are connected to projects. This is made to be incredibly beginner friendly for someone who's new to Notion. To add tasks, you'll simply write down here, task seven, task eight, you'll add the tasks down here, and to lift them into your calendar, you'll simply drag it into your calendar. Then what we'll be able to do is select the relevant project, and label the task as complete once it is done. And we can build this entire dashboard in a matter of minutes. Subscribe for Notion tutorials, let's dive in. So this here is a new page in Notion. And what we're going to do is simply just write dashboard or whatever you want to call your page. So what we'll do is just hit enter a few times and write tasks. Now what I'll do is hover over this and here you can see these six dots. I'll click that and here what we're going to do is turn into and we'll just make this into a heading too. Now what I'll do is hit enter underneath tasks and do forward slash div. This here will just create a divider. Here is where you are literally just going to write all of your different tasks. So anytime you think of a task, you're just going to write it here. In my premium Notion template, tasks are part of databases, which is more powerful. But if you're new to working with databases, don't worry, this here will remain as just a list and then our calendar will become the database. Speaking of, let's create the calendar. What you're going to do is forward slash and write C-A-L. Here you can see calendar view. We're going to click this. Now, as you can see, this is a type of database, but what I'll do is not add any confusing properties to this. So the first thing we're going to do as it's quite squished is just go up here and click on these three dots. And here, we're just going to change this page here to full width. This makes this page full width. So I'll just call this database here. So right now it doesn't have a name. I'll just call this calendar, for example. Now, as you can see, I'm seeing the entire month here. That's quite overwhelming. So what we'll do is click on this settings icon. And here we are going to click on layout. And on this layout here, you can see table, board, timeline, list, gallery, chart, and feed. So if you don't know, this calendar here is a database and that can actually be viewed in all of these different layouts. Now we won't get into that in this video, but I have plenty of tutorials on that. But what we're going to do here, as we don't want to see the full month, we are going to click here on show calendar as, and we'll change that to week. So now I have my calendar and I have my tasks. What I would recommend you do as you add tasks in here is to organize where you think they sit in priority. So if this is a high priority, we'll drag it here to the top. So now task four here is at the top of the list. So on this page here, we have our tasks and our calendar. The reason we do this is because your day is your to-do list. And if you separate your calendar from your to-do list, you now have to check two things throughout the day. This is overwhelming and unnecessary. So instead, we want our dashboard to contain both of these. So let's say it's Tuesday morning. It's time for you to work. What are you going to do? Well, you'll simply scroll down and drag tasks from the top of this list directly into this spot here. So as you can see here, I've dragged it. And now this task is sitting here in my calendar. And what it does is change this from text. So this here is just like normal text, like you would write in a Word document. But once you drag it into a database, whether that's a calendar or any one of these layouts, what happens is it changes it from text to a page. So here I could actually type more text. So I could write about this task here if I wanted to give myself more information or instructions or anything like that. So task four now is no longer just text, it is now a page. And that is because it's sitting in a database with this database here being viewed as a calendar. Now what I'll do here is click on task four and here you can see add property. Now in my premium Notion template headquarters, I have a lot of different properties that all work together to allow you to time block your day and a bunch of other features that are built around the 10 best productivity methods in the world. But if you're new to properties, they can be kind of overwhelming. So let's not make this overwhelming. What we're going to do is click on this here, the select. And this select here is going to be your project. So I'll simply just write project here. Now by default, when you create a new database, tags here will get created. So what I'll do is right click on tags and just do delete property. So task four here and I can see project. And what I can do now is just write the project. So let's just call this project A, very creative. I'll click there, project A. So this task four here is to do with project A. The problem is I can't see that here on my calendar. I have to click onto that task in order to see that, which is a bit annoying. It adds that extra step. I want to know the project I'm working on before I click onto the task. So what we'll do is click on these settings here and we are going to change here the property visibility. And here, what we're going to do is show by clicking on this eyeball icon, the project. So I'll show that, and now I can see project A. So now my day is as simple as looking at my task list, 
dragging in the task, saying, what is this project related to? So here I'll say project A for this one. And now I can see everything I need to do in my day. Task four, task one. But how do I know if I've completed the task or not? Now there's a bunch of different ways we could do this in Notion. We could use different properties here, but we'll make this super simple so you don't even have to worry about adding another property. We'll simply hover here above the name and you can see add icon. And what we'll do here is search for the emoji of check. And here I can add this check mark. So now I can see this task four here is checked in. I'll do the same thing for task one once completed. I'll check it in just like that. So now when a task is sitting here, I could see whether it's ticked in or not. Lastly, if you want to add another project, you simply click here and you can see all of your different projects sitting in here. You can also search for your specific project just by typing it in here or to create a new one, you'll just write the new name project B and then click on create. So now you have project A, project B, and this one here is project A. If you want to change the colors of a project, you'll simply hover over the project and click on these three dots here. And here you can change the color. So let's make this one here yellow. Project B, let's make this one here blue. It is as simple as that. So now on this dashboard here, you have your calendar. So you know everything you're doing this week. And down here you have your tasks where every single time you have a new task, you can simply type it in just like a Word document. But this document here gets converted into a database simply by dragging the item to the day you will do it. This is the simplest Notion dashboard that you can build that isn't overwhelming, but it still is incredibly productive. If you want a more in-depth Notion template, then check out Headquarters, my premium Notion template, and it's built to be a true productivity machine. Click on this video here to check out the full tool.